I'm happy. Oh, it should be fine. I just, I wanted, I just <laughs> needed this. I just needed to see the baby again. Hey guys, it's Maggie and I am back today and today I am nine weeks, three days pregnant. Um, I wanted to come on here on Friday, but Friday wound up being a busy day. That's the day that I actually turned nine weeks. Um, I had a wax appointment in the morning that took a long time and then we had a wedding in LBI and <laughs> between those two times, like from morning to the evening wedding, um, I knew that I needed to nap because that's like a two hour drive for us and I knew that I would likely be driving us home as the DD and yeah so I, I had to nap. I had to nap. There wasn't time for a whole lot that day. I am starting to get comments on YouTube like, hey it's been a few weeks, I hope you're okay and like I, I want to say so badly I am so sick but only for good reasons. Normally when I'm sick, it's like, oh, you know, this is not good, like I, I things are terrible, and that's not the case. Um, obviously I'm sick for just the best possible reason. I'm just really, really sick. Here we are, nine weeks and three days. I will give you the update of what's been going on. Let me pull up my app, because it tells me the size of the baby um, today or this week the baby is the size of this little butterfly um, which I've actually I think I've seen this butterfly in real life it's the only creature so far that I've actually laid eyes on so that's kind of cool um, and look this what the baby looks like isn't that wild this is still totally crazy to me um, we told my dad on Friday and <laughs> I didn't want to say anything at the wedding like while we were in the wedding because I just you know it's my family it's my cousin's day I didn't want to I didn't want to bring it up so when we were leaving the wedding that's when I told him as my dad was heading out we actually wound up staying later because I was feeling pretty good that night um, as my dad said, you know, I think I'm gonna head out. I was like, oh yeah, I have something for you in the car. Let me just go get it. And he went to the restroom in the venue. So we met like out front of the venue and I handed him the card and he, <laughs> he opened it and he was like, oh, what is this? Like a birthday card? It's nowhere near his birthday. But um, he couldn't see it. So we had to get his glasses <laughs> on. And then he realized and he was totally shocked and very, very happy. So. Yeah, I kind of filled him in on the details, like how far along I am and how <laughs> I wanted to tell him at the previous wedding, but at that point, um, I had not had an ultrasound yet, so I just didn't know what was going on, and I was super sick that day. <laughs> I was like trying to pretend in front of my dad that I was totally fine, and thankfully he was like, oh, I didn't notice. The funny thing... Um, about this past Friday though when we were at the wedding mind you my dad saw me three weeks ago at the previous wedding So we're outside eating hors d'oeuvres and stuff and he looks at me and he's like Huh, you look like you uh You uh <laughs> He kind of hesitated and I was like I look like I'm fat. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> and he goes no, no, you look like you just you put on a couple more pounds and we came very close <laughs> to being like, well, there's a good reason for that. Um, so when I actually did tell him later in the night, I was like, yeah, there's a reason why I might look like I weigh a little bit more. Um, I think I gained a pound. I don't think I gained that much, but I'm happy with that because I know some people wind up losing weight in their first trimester because of how sick they are. Uh, I will tell you guys that Saturday morning, I threw up for the first time only once so far which I feel like is pretty good right I don't know like my sister-in-law said she really didn't experience any morning sickness and then my best friend experienced a lot of it and her diet was really limited I it depends on the day I will say every single night I feel pretty horrible um, it's definitely way worse at night but it really depends on the day, how I'm feeling. Uh, distraction helps, like when we go to the weddings. Um, that has helped a ton, because there's just so much going on. It's like I'm not even thinking about 
what's happening in my body so that yeah that was very helpful yesterday i felt pretty good um you know i ate a bagel first thing in the morning and that got me going and i was able to straighten up the house a little bit do dishes today i can tell i don't feel as good <laughs> otherwise um i feel like i gotta get off topic from the you know this my bloating is definitely kicking up and so friday the whole night i was trying to like hide my belly because i i'm obviously the baby's not showing but i am bloated from all this any uh odors i am not doing well with at all whether they are good or bad to me i have three weird aversions and it's not necessarily like eating wise um it's more the smell of them or like the texture and the thing that actually made me throw up the other morning was tomatoes tomatoes i can eat totally fine it's not the flavor at all that i have a problem with it is it's making gardening so bad like i can't pick the tomatoes i can't prep them um zach wound up picking a bunch of tomatoes he picked a bunch of tomatoes, had them in like these buckets, and he put them in front of the coffee maker um, the other morning. And so I had to move them in order to start some coffee. And that's what set me off, and I wound up throwing up. Cause I don't know what... <sighs> They're totally gross. I need to get off of this subject, but I want to share it. So tom <laughs> tomatoes are disgusting. I love tomatoes. The taste is totally fine. It's the texture. I can't. I don't know what. Squishy. Ugh. <laughs> um, the other two things. I just got. Where is it? Hold on. I have it here. I really like this hand lotion. And my hands get super dry. Love this lotion. And just bought this one. Because it was the cheapest one. I got a three pack. And it's the lavender flavor. And I've actually used lavender sticks for nausea before, like, in the hospital. Not now. Not now. Lavender is totally disgusting. I can't. I can't. I can't. So now I'm, like, ticked because I got three of these, and I hope this goes away so I can actually use my hand lotion. Like, the only lotion that I can use is pumpkin flavored, which is still, like, very strong. I should get some unscented. I should try and find some unscented. Um, until this goes away um, I have some pumpkin though that I can I can sort of handle that we got from Bath and Body Works which I don't know if I should be using highly scented things anyway I you know what there's so many things that are back and forth so oh well um, I'm not using it a lot so that and then the thing that's starting to become a problem is my favorite lip balm which is just mint flavored I have gone through so many of these and it's like I don't know what it is every time I put it on I'm like I don't like this I don't like this so I don't know what to do I don't know if I should just get some chapstick or that's the thing it's such random things and then Zach last night he when we went to the store yesterday he got some different like easy meals because he works and stuff and I I usually make the food but right now any sort of meal prep is very difficult. I feel terrible about it, but at the same time, I'm growing life, okay? <laughs> so, he made this rice packet, and I had to go to bed. I was like, I'm sorry, the smell is so bad. I literally, I was like this, and he's like, you're making me feel bad. And I was like, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. And it, like, you have to be able to eat. I just can't with the smell of everything, like the world everything is so much stronger <sighs> um even our dogs like dogs are disgusting i'm just gonna be honest with you i love them to death but they're kind of gross and there's some certain scents from dogs that i just am not able to handle <laughs> right now at all Oof. i don't know how to make a video where i don't talk about what's going on and I also just don't feel good. Like, I don't have the energy to do it. So I'm, I'm going to try this week to do my best of making videos where I'm not completely, obviously, sick. <laughs> um, I think I'm definitely going to talk about my sinus infection and try and blame it on that a little bit until I can tell you guys. Which I don't think will be long. I think I'll be telling you um, next week. Because we're going down to Baltimore to see Zach's dad. We're going to tell him... Um, we're sending a card to his mom, which I'm worried about right now because she's in clear water 
Florida and there is a hurricane basically coming straight at her. So just keep my fingers crossed there that everything works out. Um, I don't know. We'll see how this affects mail, but we're going to mail her a card, a Halloween card, and then inside of that we'll put the little card I made with the ultrasound. So that is our plan. And then after that, once our family knows, I am fine telling online. I'm fine saying it earlier than 12 weeks because I just say I'm now we're <laughs> after I yell at a car for stopping in the middle of the road. It's highway. Well, <laughs> Kind of highway to stop the that public. was not smart. Anyways, hi guys, it's Maggie, and we have Zeekers here. Um, this is going to be my 10 week update, and as you may notice, we are in the car. Yeah, it, yeah we are actually. If you didn't know, <laughs> I'm a little concerned because you're the one driving. Um, <laughs> we are in the car, we're actually heading towards my best friend from high school. Uh, we're heading to her sister's house because she is up from Texas and we're going to meet her daughter. But before we do that, I planned an elective ultrasound. I couldn't <laughs> help it. <laughs> and what's the name of the place? Baby Glam. I, okay, so all the elective ultrasound places have kind of cheesy names. Baby this Glam. one's Baby Glam. Um, it was like pretty reasonable. I think it was $65 and I got five extra photos. Um, for five dollars uh, so I just wanted reassurance because we're almost there oh we are well I'm Four glad miles. I I'm glad I started my little video here. sorry um, I want a reassurance not because I think anything's wrong I am still completely sick my chest hurts like wild Zach <laughs> last night he was uh, checking him out and, and touched one barely and I started crying because they hurt a lot they hurt a lot and um, and I definitely feel like stretching and stuff in my uterus but I want a reassurance because this week we are telling his parents and his sister and then I'm gonna tell you guys hi mom hi dad <laughs> <laughs> so my dad already knows I know it's just because we saw him in person and I could give him a card and then we're gonna Zach this was the excuse that Zach did and it's a real excuse he actually needs new glasses. So he has an appointment with his dad oh, where his I? dad works. <laughs> no. um, and that's like near Baltimore. So we're going to drive down to Maryland and tell tell him and then we'll call your mom. I think either ride before. Down. Yeah. yeah. Ride down. Um, and what I thought I'm sending her a card. It's definitely not going to make it. And thankfully she was not hit too badly by the hurricane. Her power's still out and it's Saturday. Um, <laughs> but she prepped and everything. And there was just like a lot of trees down where she was. But I have a card back here. Can you see it? Yeah, it's on the seat. It's a Halloween card. And then inside of it, I'm gonna put the ultrasound um, card that I created. And because I added five extra pictures today, I think we'll get seven in total. I think it included two and then I added the five. Yeah. I figured I would Did put an update. Date. Yeah, because the one on the card is from seven weeks and three days. Okay. So this is this will be ten weeks in one day. Definitely the machine's as good of quality as that one. It won't okay, so there this place only does abdominal. Mm-hmm. And they just, when it's early on like this, I don't think that they look as good. But I just want it, I just want reassurance. You know, I don't know. Might have been a really stupid idea if things go wrong and we're heading to see my best friend. But <laughs> I figured it was just convenient because we'd already be out of the house and this is like, what, half an hour away from us and then from here it'll be an hour to Kelsey, because they're in Westchester. Yeah, maybe a hair long. Well, yeah, it's a little out of the Yeah. Maybe an hour. Okay. Well, <laughs> anyways, I don't think there are too many updates. I still feel super sick to my stomach. Um, Dixie threw up on our carpet oh, last night. And that was horrible. Both of us were actually it gagging. I don't, we don't need to describe it, because then I'll start gagging, okay? It was, it was bad. It was really bad. Yeah, I can't handle anything gross. Really can't. Uh, and sense of smell is super strong. Anything cooked, it's just disgusting. Can't handle it. Um, my belly depends on the time of day, but it keeps getting swollen. So right now I have jeans on and 
I put a ponytail holder around the belt loop just so I don't have to button them up because it's they're tight. I mean, they were I think they were getting tight before because I was gaining weight beforehand for all this. Um, but I'm definitely gaining weight now. I weighed 109.4 on our scale. And I was weighing 106 before all of this. So I'm the only person to gain weight, gain three pounds in the first trimester. <laughs> I'll take it. I don't care. Oh boy. Anyways. All right. Keep your fingers crossed. I hope everything's fine at this ultrasound. I just want to see the baby. And then my next ultrasound will be 11 weeks and six days. Yep. So. Okay. <laughs> um, we're all done. Obviously it went well again. Very cool. I, first of all, if you are in Warminster PA, <laughs> Baby Glam, Check it out. I'm going to put the info below. She was lovely. I'm 90% certain her name is Angela. And if I'm wrong, I'm so sorry about that. We're definitely going to go back there. You know, it's obviously I, I progressed. Experience. Easy. That was fantastic. And I mean, she had great reviews, so I wasn't doubting what would happen I just yeah we got lucky because it's a brand new business more or less she yeah. said July so yeah. it's only been a few months she did awesome and she just explained everything to us and showed us so much um, let me show you I have seven photos here but I think this one neat looking tavern is the most <laughs> you're looking at taverns cool I'm looking at babies <laughs> um, sorry my camera's still broken you can see little hand it was moving around so much. And when I say, I said he, we don't know the gender yet. It's too early. Yeah. Um, so if I can, I'm supposed to have a video uploaded to this app. If I'm able to include it on here, I will. Um, even if it's just like a screen recording, but the baby was moving so much. Like you could see his arms going like it's that. A worm. I it was. Saying. It was like. And the crazy thing is, I am measuring a week ahead. So she, she's like, okay, you're measuring 11 weeks one day, and I'm like, really? Because I'm 10 weeks one day. And she said that the baby could be, could have been scrunched up on the other ultrasounds that I had, uh, when they measured like the crown rump length. So. <laughs> <I'll find that laughs> And she kept pointing out the butt. <laughs> it was so cute though. Yeah. It was so tiny. A little but stippy butt. The baby is. As you call it. <laughs> the baby is 4.2 centimeters. Isn't that crazy? 4. Oh my gosh. 5. Oh. You saw it. I, I just, I was staring at the baby. I, I couldn't help it. And the heart rate was 175, I yeah. think, again. Oh my gosh, it's just crazy. She pointed out the umbilical cord and the placenta, and she said that I had either a um, posterior or fundal uh, placenta, which I think fundal is at the top of your uterus and posterior is just towards the back. And I just asked her like, that's, you know, when you have an anterior, that means you're not gonna feel the baby as much because it's gonna be kicking the placenta, right? Um, and she, she said, yes. Yeah. So I will likely feel the baby. Yep. Okay. And she said, I also had a retroverted uterus and she asked if I had ever been told that. And I said, well, I think years ago on an ultra or not an ultrasound, a MRI, somebody said that, but nobody said it recently. And I think it's probably from my proctocolectomy. Um, but yeah. Yay. Okay. I'm happy. Oh, you'd be fine. I just, I wanted, I just <laughs> needed this. I just needed to see the baby again. And you found a cool new business. I did. And I said we will probably be back because I'm anxious. <laughs> you get some glam shots. And I was right because when I told him the name of this place, he laughed. And I was like, well, I think it's probably based on glamour shots. Um, Which I forgot. When, like, that was like a 90s glamour thing. Glamour shots. Yeah, it was right? like 80s, 90s. I have them. My mom and I got glamour shots. You do that I, like Sears, right? Or am I no glamour shots was it's it was usually in malls, but it was like standalone. It's a standalone oh. business, and that you I get like your hair and makeup shots. done, and then you do all these fun poses. I just found mine in the attic with my mom, <laughs> so I thought I was like, that's maybe why she named it that way, and she confirmed that that is why it was named that way. So um, I'm very happy. Oh, 
Mr. Costco man. He got it. He got it. He he the did tight it. Turn. Hi. Are you snuggling with me? Oh, it's just snuggling. Oh, it's just snuggling. Ignore our very very messy bedroom. <laughs> um, it's been a while. It's actually okay. So it's. We're going to do this all in terms of day. So I think my last video clip, it was 10 weeks, one day. I'm now 11 weeks, five days, which means tomorrow. I know, I know, tomorrow technically I'm 11 weeks, six days. But I'm getting my 12-week ultrasound and my NIPT blood work done wild. Bruno, do you want to say hi? You want to come say hi? Come use. Mmm. He's being a grony old man. Okay, you just see my deal. So I feel like the symptoms with this are kind of starting to go up and down. Whereas before it was very consistent. Now I'm having a few days where I, I feel really good and I do pretty, pretty well and I'm not super nauseated. I'm not super tired. I can get things done. And then I get hit with a couple days that are really rough. Yesterday was one of those days I half threw up on our kitchen floor. I say half because I was able to stop myself. Like, it was coming up. And I, I, there was a little something on the kitchen floor, but it was not a full, yeah. I feel like the lighting is a little dark this way. Hold on. Can I, can I do this way? Can we do this way? Okay. Thank you. I love you. I'll pet you in a second, okay? Anyways, it's like 3.30 in the afternoon, and by now, if it was a bad day, I would really not be feeling well by now. Um, like, I wouldn't have made it awake to 3.30, so today, I think, knock on some wood, I think it's an okay day. I was able to get some work done and some filming done and a whole bunch of editing, so that's fantastic. And now, I am laying down because... It doesn't, uh, napping does not help. It does not give me any energy. It does not make my stomach feel better, but it does give me like a couple hours break where I don't really feel bad because I'm unconscious. So I'm gonna, we're, we're gonna lay down. I'm gonna put my headphones in, listen to some ASMR and just relax until Zach gets home. This has been a trip and I'm really, really looking forward to feeling better. And I keep thinking with the good days, like hmm, maybe, Maybe the symptoms are starting to go away and then they come back and then I really feel like it's gonna last forever. But I know I'm only, I'm not even 12 weeks. I'll be 12 weeks Friday, it's Wednesday. Um, I'm really kind of nervous for tomorrow because I haven't had an ultrasound in a couple weeks. A little less than a couple weeks, I know. But I just, you know, I don't feel the baby yet. I, I do have symptoms, obviously. And I definitely feel stretching, like my belly, it feels like there's a lot of pulling and stretching in there. So that makes me feel better and I just have to keep hoping that everything is going well and the baby's, you know, happy and growing in there. Um, tomorrow, I think I'm going to go by myself to this appointment because... Zach wants to go and he works from home, but he obviously like has to be available for work. And it's one thing if the appointment's not too far away and it's pretty quick, but it's 40 minutes away um, without traffic. And then, you know, it takes a little bit to have me brought back and then the appointments and it's two different appointments because one's an ultrasound and then one's getting the blood work done. I think that they might do another urine test again. Um, just googling online it says that usually every appointment you get that done so I don't know if that'll be the case but I think this ultrasound will be longer than the last one at the OB. The last one there was so freaking quick. That's why I was really happy to do that elective ultrasound uh, which I didn't realize is illegal in a couple states which I could totally see um, people you know if the ultrasound person was diagnosing you and they were not you know, that's not within their scope of practice. If they were telling you things, that would be bad. This one specifically was like, hey, we don't diagnose. If we do see something suspicious, we will send it to your doctor. They required me to provide my OB's information. And they said, you have to consent to us calling. So um, I felt super comfortable. The lady was also extremely experienced. And I will 100% be going back there because, like... I don't know, it gave us the best opportunity to 
I want to say bond, but I feel like that's weird because it's so tiny inside of me. The little baby doesn't know what's going on yet. But for Zach and I, it was really cool. And I think it gave him the best opportunity so far to really see things. And the baby really looked like a baby. It was crazy. So I know that tomorrow, as long as everything is fine, um, it's, I mean, the baby's going to look even more like a baby. Are you recording? Yes, you're recording. Okay, hi, hello. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> I'm filming this now. I didn't sleep at all. I laid in bed for like 20 minutes. My brain was going a mile a minute. And so I just, I got up and came down here. And I am starting to feel sick. I almost just threw up on the kitchen floor again. Um, but at least it's like later in the day. So hopefully I can make it to like 8, 8.30. I'll probably go to bed then because I'll be so tired, but I'm out of breath. It's kind of my norm. I have a ginger chew in my mouth, so hopefully I don't throw up. I wanted to show my belly, though. I don't know if you can tell. My ostomy does, does need to be emptied, okay? I'm just telling you that. That's what this is. But the rest of my belly, yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that's baby? Or is that me just gaining a bit of weight here. Um, I weighed myself a little while ago and I have officially, for the first time ever in my life, hit 110 pounds. That is wild because before all of my ostomy output issues and um, before I got on IV fluids, I was 88. What is that, 22 pounds? 22 pounds I have gained. That is, wait, is that? Yeah, that's right, sorry. <laughs> Ugh, I'm so tired and out of it and blah. I don't feel good. And I don't want to think about feeling sick because then I'll be sick. I'm waiting for Zach to get home. But we shall see what tomorrow holds. I do feel, I feel hopeful. I really do. Like, I don't think that I would continue feeling sick like this. And I don't think that I would feel so much stretching in my belly if things weren't happening, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, and I know that people have asked and this is not going to go up for at least a couple weeks, but I have, I have announced already and people have asked, are you finding out the gender? And yes, that's what tomorrow was for. Um, the blood test results, I think take a week to 10 days to get back. And I think Zach and I are just going to open up the email together and do it that way I don't know really don't want to do some like firework explosion and blow the place up um, but I did think of something cute that I could record for family and stuff and then I thought I could also share it with you guys I thought of something like I don't know seasonal <laughs> that would be kind of fun to do so I might do that we'll see if I have the energy but yeah we should find out fairly soon what this baby is. And I, if I had to pick a gender of what I think it is, I am going with girl. That's totally based on like the myths, like the the little quizzes, not quizzes that you could take, but like just the little, what the heck is it called? Wives tales, I've been saying myths, wives tales of like what the gender may be. And people say that if you have morning sickness, like then it's probably a girl. Obviously, that's not true. There are people who have boys that are really sick, and then there are people who have girls that are not sick at all. <laughs> um, but the other thing that I am basing this off of is the heart rate. What I have heard is that if the heart rate is on the higher end of normal, then it's a girl, and if it's on the lower end of normal, it's a boy. My heart rate's not my heart rate. Baby's heart rate has been in the 170s. I know that at this point, it's probably starting to go down, because um, that's just normal, that's what happens. But during the earlier ultrasounds, it was like 170. So that's what I'm basing it off of. Um, and just like a feeling, a feeling that it's a girl. There's nothing, there's nothing scientific to tell me that. I look at the ultrasounds, I don't know what I'm looking at. And I don't even think you can tell on ultrasounds this early. So that's what I'm going with. And Zach does not have a guess. So there you go. We shall see. I don't care what it is. I, and Zach doesn't care. We do not care. Whatever it is, as long as the baby is healthy. I'm going to end this little vlog for weeks 10 and 11. And I'll check in with you tomorrow in a new video. But I will 
take you along for my ultrasound and my NIPT testing. I don't think that I can film anything in there, but um, we'll see. I think I'm going to like video chat with Zach, so at least he'll be able to see stuff. But I'll tell you what happens and how everything goes. And oh, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. Everything's good. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I will see you in the next. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you are looking for a way to help support my channel, consider liking this video or even subscribing. You can also check out my store at letstalkivd.shop. I have stickers and hoodies like these guys over here just related to chronic illness and inflammatory bowel disease, something fun. And I also have a coupon code for my YouTube watchers. You could also become a member of my channel like the wonderful people scrolling on screen here. They've become a member and they have access to videos a little bit earlier. It's a great way to support my channel and really just watching my videos means the world. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next.